He says in verse 8, Epaphras, who has taken the gospel to Colossae, has come back with news, the news about your love in the Spirit. We shouldn't pass over that lightly. What does love mean for Paul here and elsewhere? It means that there is now a community which is living as a highly unlikely, unpredictable family, a community that is sharing common life as family across traditional boundaries, Jews and Gentiles living together. As he says later on in chapter 3, barbarians, Scythians, slaves, free, all these different people and men and women sharing life together in a way that was unprecedented in the ancient world. When towards the end of the letter he addresses different categories of people, he doesn't just like a philosopher would address the men, the fathers, the husbands, the masters. He addresses the women, the children, the slaves as well, treats them as responsible people. This is unprecedented. Paul sees that this community has come into existence in Colossae. There's nothing like it in the ancient world. The synagogue communities looked after their own very well and formed a kind of a transnational community, the different synagogues in different localities. The Roman army and the Roman civil service were a kind of a transnational community that incorporated many people, but of course they all owed allegiance to Caesar and they were very male dominated and they were very imperial minded. But for Paul, the communities that are springing up now are like nothing that anyone had ever seen before. And he thanks God that there's one of those in Colossae because he knows this doesn't happen by accident. It's not just a quirk. Some people decided they'd try some odd experiment, a new way of living. No, the sort of community they were showed that the word of the gospel had done its own work. That's one of the main themes of these few verses here. He says, you heard about this before, verse 5, in the word of truth, the gospel, which has arrived on your doorstep, just as it's producing fruit and growing in all the world.